Good morning. Happy Friday. This is Sean and I am checking in for Operation Get Fit. So I have you started. Have you cleaned out your refrigerators? Have you come up with a meal plan? If not, then I challenge you to do that this weekend. Uh, buy the foods that you need to to help you stay on track. Um, do some meal prepping for the week and have a plan okay um like i said you're going to be watching me on my journey and so i want to give you my starting uh stats all right so i weighed in this morning um at 191.8 and i had my coach tape me so we're going to see those numbers go down so my chest is at 33, uh, with, um, taped myself around my waist by the belly button, that was 35, hips were 48, arm is 14, and the individual leg uh, was at 26. So here are my goals. Okay, so you can watch me and see. I'm not going to tape every week, I don't think. I think it's going to be a taping every two weeks. But uh, at least my first immediate uh, goal is to get my chest from 33 to 26. From uh, On my waist, get it from 35 to 25. My hips, which was for me is going to be the hardest, from 48 down to 40. My arm, 14 is the biceps. I have no idea. Um, we'll see how that goes. I don't have a goal for that. And the leg, the leg will go down depending on where my hips are. Okay, so I'm coming up with those stats because you got to have somewhere to go towards. So... Like I said, give yourself some small increments on goals. Um, as far as the time frame, I'm hoping to get to those by the end of the year. So I, I don't have a, you know, from week to week, you know, it may go up, it may go down. But by the end of the year, I would like to see those numbers go down or even lower. Now for me, um, I lose my weight from my face down and my hips are the last to go so um you'll start seeing my face thin out and my chest will get smaller my i lose weight in my waist really fast but the hips are the last to go i am a i am your typical pear shaped body and so it's going to take a lot of cardio the good news is that i found out after 15 years of begging and pleading and having Christmases being disappointed, um, <laughs> my husband finally broke down and he says we're getting a treadmill. So we are going treadmill shopping. Um, he didn't do it for me. He got some blood work done. And um, I said, you can't be stroking out or having a heart attack on me. You are too young and we are too young and we got things to do. So um, he decided to get a treadmill because he is a very fair weather exerciser. And so if the treadmill is in the house, um, just by access, he's more more apt to go than go to the gym. So I like going to the gym, but he does not. So we are finally getting a treadmill. So the joke in my family with my kids is finally going to be laid to rest. Mama's getting her treadmill, okay? So, so that's that. But um, I'm going to get my cardio in. Um, I had a great week uh, as far as working out. I worked out Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and today, Friday, um, for uh, CrossFit. And then, let's see, Tuesday, I did cardio. Tuesday and Thursday, I ran. So... Uh, tomorrow I'm going to run. I may run today. I'm going to run tomorrow and then I'm going to have Sunday of, of a day of rest. So that is my plan for the rest of the weekend. Tell me in the comments, what do you plan on doing? What you've done so far? Have you gotten your meal plan together? Um, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to try this intermittent, intermittent fasting, um, to see how that works. 
Uh, evidently, I kind of intermittent fast without doing it purposefully because um, I used to be a really big uh, first thing in the morning breakfast eating, but I found out from doing CrossFit um, and the heavy weights, I can't have anything in my stomach. So that has changed a lot for me the way I work out. So a lot of times I really don't eat until nine or 10 o'clock because after I'm done taping with you guys, I'm going to go home, shower, get my stuff together, and then I'll be going to work. And that's usually the first time I'll eat. I'll have a, a protein shake, um, something light. So I'm usually not eating until nine or 10 o'clock anyway in the morning. And then I've never been a late night eater. And so I have already had my dinner between 530, 530, 630 the latest. Um, I, I never eat late. And once I'm done with my dinner, I'm done. I don't eat snacks or anything before going to bed. So um, I'm kind of intermittent fasting without knowing that I was doing it, but now I'm going to do it with a purpose and really um, keep those times pretty close. So, uh, you know, eating around 10 and cutting it around six or seven at the latest sounds like a plan that I can do. And then I'll be fasting all through the night and first thing in the morning. So um, I'm going to see how that switches the numbers. I hear, uh, especially uh, a woman like me that's going <laughs> through menopause. Sorry, guys. Um, lady talk. Uh, you know, we got to do things different once we get past 40 plus. So for the fellas, I am not leaving you guys out. So, you know, this is open to everybody. And if you are looking to drop weight for the fellas, so you're going to have a, a upper hand than the ladies because you have um, more muscle mass. So you're going to see your numbers drop. Even, you know, if you don't exercise, just changing your diet, cutting out some of the, you know, alcohol and calorie drinks and tightening up adding some more fruit and having some protein, you guys are going to see a weight loss. And so I hope that motivates you. And um, if you also want to, oh, another thing, if you have never done it before um, for the first week um, as a challenge to journal what you eat. Um, if you're not quite ready, just journal what you eat normally. And you can see where your calories are, your macros and all that. Uh, I recommend the free app, my fitness pal, and you can, I think, put in also your water intake. Cause remember we're supposed to be working up to 40 ounces. So for those of you who aren't very good at drinking your water, um, the first goal is to try to get in, um, at least those two glasses of water every day. Okay. For those of you who are drinking water, generally, I want you to challenge yourself to get up to 40 ounces. And then for you advanced water drinkers, you know, and those of you who are exercising, um, get your, get your, um, gallon in. So, oh my gosh, what'd I do with it? I'm misplaced it. I do have my water. I don't know where it is, but I do have my water. I've already had some water. Um, and I'm, I'm at, uh, I had water when I got up and that's another way. You know, uh, first thing in the morning when you get up, just get your eight ounces in because you've been sleeping. And so I make sure I drink my water before I have my coffee. And then um, that's already down. You already got your eight ounces in. And then you can drink some water before you have lunch. Um, we used to do that in the military. So, um, you know, in basic training, you could not eat until you had your two glasses of water. And so I pretty much kept that kind of, you know, I try to get in a glass of water before I start my meal. So if you are drinking water before you eat, you know, you're going to automatically get in your 16 ounces, no problem. So, or, you know, I try to drink some water in between of the coffee that I drink. So those are the little tricks that you can do to make yourself get your water intake, but you need your water intake for many reasons. One, most of us are dehydrated. And so it's too late when you think you're thirsty. Second, when you're dehydrated, you're making your body work extra hard just to function. And we don't want to do that. 
It's taxing on the body when it doesn't have enough water in it. And second, um, you know, uh, it's good to get your water intake because most of us are drinking way too many calorie written things anyway. So water is good for your skin. Water is good for um, overall health. So do that and let me know in the comments over the weekend how you're doing and we will check back in. Um, I think maybe for the first two weeks, I'll do more than just a Friday check-in, but I will definitely check in with you on Friday. So enough babbling. Take care of yourself and each other. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Get your fitness in. Let me know what you're doing. And then on, depending on the comments on Friday, not only will I check in with you on what I'm doing for the week, but I'll also tackle a challenge or a question. But I want to end with this. For anyone who is starting on losing weight or getting back into that and getting into your activity, the number one question you must answer for yourself in order to be successful is what is your why? Everybody needs to know why they are doing this. Why am I changing my eating habits? Why am I getting more activity in? Once you answer your why, and your why has to be really big for you, and it has to be impactful and important, because on those days that you want to do something other than your plan, you have to go back to your why. So if you don't know what your why is yet, um, that is your goal to think about over the weekend. Your why might be to get off medication. Your why might be because you want to look great at a wedding, which is not a bad thing, but you need to know something that is going to emotionally drive you, especially when you don't want to do the things that you told yourself you're going to do. So think of what your why is. If you know what your why is, please put it in a comment because I want to be motivated as well and I want to keep you motivated. So know what your why is, get your plan together, and I will see you next week. Have a fantastic weekend. Take care of yourself and each other. Bye.